it's Shannon. Today I'm doing a collection video and I figured I'd make it kind of fashion themed. So we're gonna do my vintage purse collection. So all the purses you're gonna see in this video are from the thrift store, which is quite amazing. I've been collecting them over, ooh, the past couple of years probably. And what I do is I just get them, I bring them home, clean them, and they're just like new. They are so cute. And a lot of the ones you'll see in today's video are the short baguette purses which are really in right now. I don't like them just because they're in, but just because I like them, you know? So um, you'll see a lot of that style. It's just kind of what I like. And yeah, if you want me to do a part two to this video, then let me know. I can definitely arrange that. But other than that, let's get started right away. I don't know. I mean, even sometimes I get really lucky and find like good designer purses, which I guess I'll start with. I found this one. This is... This was probably actually one of my first, I don't know. I don't know when I got this. Maybe I got this last year, but this is a coach bag. And I remember seeing this in the thrift store and being like, oh my goodness, I think this is just so cute. Really, really vintagey. It goes with so many different outfits. And coach was out for a long time, I feel like, but, I, but now it's coming back, especially since a lot of vintage items are back with the 90s and 2000s and um, I actually was wondering how to authenticate this online and it has this little square patch right here which authenticated it so I was really excited about that. It's definitely one that I reach for right now so this is the first bag and by the way the prices of these kind of vary um, depending on the thrift stores that I go to but usually they're around five dollars. So the next purse that I'm gonna show you. I guess I'll do this one. So, like, this one is kind of like that reptile, fake looking skin. It's, this is actually a Liz Claiborne, I believe. Yes. And her bags are really nice. I actually see a lot of her bags and clothes in the thrift store, which I actually, like, a lot, I have a lot of. I think it's very, like, her style is super classic. I definitely gravitate to this bag around now I think it's just so nice and it actually stores a lot so if I open this up and show you inside you can see the pockets that it has and I just really like it because sometimes with bags like this especially like the coach one is definitely not as big but they're hard to store a lot of things in because they're not like really big bags this one I like a lot for that reason so if I'm like going somewhere where I need to bring a lot of things like let's just say a vlog camera lipstick, my phone, all that stuff, my wallet. This is a really good bag that I grab. So that's the next purse. Okay, I'll talk about this one since I got this not too long ago. Every time I carry this bag, I just feel like Serena Vanderwoodson because I feel like she would totally wear a bag like this. And so I liked it to begin with. Like I picked it up in the thrift store. I'm like, wow, this is actually really cute. I can store a ton of things in here, seriously. Oh, and the price is still on it. So it says $5.99. It's huge, like you can fit and store a lot of things in here. And I was really surprised because the brand is simply uh, Vera by Vera Wang. And I really couldn't believe it because sometimes when you're at the thrift store, it's just like a hit or miss. You never know what you're gonna find. So this was definitely a hit. <laughs> it's kind of like, um, like more of a gray color, but I really like it. Let's do this one which I've actually been carrying right about now. I just used it today, actually. So this one, the brand on it is Morrison Italy, and it's a really good, good quality leather bag. Like Super nice, it came in great shape. I was really pleased with this. And this one stores a lot as well. It's super deep. I think that's the difference between like, let's just say the coach bag. This coach bag is a bit, shorter in length and so this one stores a lot as well it has a zipper on the back and then a huge zipper right here and so i have a lot of my stuff in here as it is because i was using it today um but yeah this is a great one the only thing that i don't like about this purse is that i can't change the strap it's like the only strap that comes on it but um overall i really like this i think this actually would be a great bag to travel with because it stores a lot, but at the same time, like it has a pretty sturdy handle. So this is probably a good travel bag for me, but 
I have been using it lately. This one, okay, so I probably used this all of September. And so here's what it looks like. I think what this was the only one that I had paid about like $15 for. It was a little bit more, but it also is a better brand. So this is the Dooney and Bork purse. I love it. It was perfect for the whole month of September. I didn't use any other bag except this one. It got its use. So I'm kind of switching it up now. I have so many that I have to remember, okay, you have to switch it up. So love that one. It got a lot of use in the month of September. This next one is a little pearl bag, which is so dainty and really pretty. Honestly, doesn't store that much. And when I bought it, I was a little hesitant for that reason because I was like, how are you gonna wear this? But for like pictures and for going like maybe to like little events, it works out perfectly because I just need to put like my ID, some money, a lipstick that's in here already and my phone and it fits just about that and that's it. So it's really pretty. I think it's just super dainty and I really liked it for that reason. I have a very like classic put together style and so I thought this was nice to add to my collection. Plus it's very different, like I have nothing like it. So if you want to like expand your collections, go to the thrift store because that's how I do it. This is another coach purse and it's more, it has like light, light blue detailing on the front and the back and also on the strap. So this one's nice as well. I haven't used it yet. It's so funny because coach purses like were a really big thing. Then I feel like they went out. Now they're back in, in a way, in like a vintage way. And I see so many of them at the thrift store. So whenever I see a good one, I pick it up but that's what it looks like. Detailing is also really nice. This is a little blue bag. I think this is so cute to wear with like jean jackets and jeans because it has a lot of blue going on. It has this really nice brown strap. It's very fallish. I think this was, was this Liz Claiborne? I don't think so now that I think about it. <laughs> I guess it's kind of a no name purse, but I feel like it's Liz Claiborne because it says LC on it, but I don't see her like labels on it. Realized that somebody left some change in this purse, um, which I just realized now. So hopefully that brings me some good luck. This came literally brand new. And so this reminds me so much of just, I feel like the 2000s. I feel like it's super vintage. It's this black plaid purse. I definitely feel like this would be good for a lot of like holiday parties. I just saw that I have the thrift store price in here and it was $5.99. So I'll be using this pretty soon, not yet, but I really like that it came brand new. I think that's nice for a change. Didn't have any wear or tear on it. The last purse I'm gonna show you has no brand name on it. it. Just has like very nice fall colors. I could honestly use these no matter what time of year it is, but this one has like gold, brown, and cream, which I really like specifically for this time of year. But again, it's one of those short shoulder bags. Can't go wrong with these, especially now that they're in, but I'll probably use them whenever. It's always such a fun little hunt going and looking for, you know, purses or just anything from the thrift store. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you let me know what other collection videos you would like to see. And that's about it. Be subscribed and follow my Instagram. I will see you next time. Bye.